Hi folks, have you ever sold one of your favourite comics and instantly regretted it? Me too. So today, I'm going to be rectifying that. I'm Jason, and welcome to this unboxing. Yes, I'm sure we've all done it folks. We've all had comics that we've loved and for whatever reason, maybe financial reasons, we've had to sell it. Maybe we sold it so we could get another comic, just to upgrade it. And you instantly regret it. You think, what on earth was I doing? This is um, a key that I sold. It's, it was Amazing Spider-Man number 50. And I was after it for a long time. And I had it in my possession for about a year. And I wanted to get myself a Hulk 181 and ended up selling the ASM 50. But as soon as I did, I instantly regretted it. It's almost like you get FOMO. So today I'm going to be unboxing another Amazing Spider-Man 50 that I bought from a website called Comic Connect. And I can't, rem I'll be honest with you, I can't remember the grade. It's not as your hands are going near the camera, they look absolutely massive. Right, they is it on point for 9.5, is it? No. Right, okay. Right, okay. Well, thank you very much. The, your first words to me are, I've got, ma got massive hands. No, it's just the perspective, isn't it? Well, that's all in 3D. Then Gil loves big hands. Wait, there we go. Look. Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel's got big fists. She does. Okay, so um, here we go, guys. I'm, I am really, really excited about this because I feel like I've got one of my children back. You know, you've lost them in the park. Yeah, and you, you're getting upset because you haven't seen them for, for hours. You know, you're crying. But you find them at last. And this is what I found. I found my ASM 50 out in the wilderness. Here we go. We're getting closer, guys. We're getting closer. The moment's almost here. Oh, it is as well. It's a higher grade than I thought it was. I thought it might have been 4.5. It's not. How can you do not the grade is? Because I forgot. My memory's getting worse. And don't say it's because I'm buying lots of comics. I know that's your next thing, isn't it? No, I was going to say it was our anniversary a couple of days ago, but you forgot about it. Anniversary? It's our anniversary. We've only been married six months. What's wrong with you? It's that moment that we first saw each other, Jason. Mm. My jokes. <sighs> right. I've got a bit of a slight concern here, straight away. Okay, here it is, guys. Let me tell you. CGC 5.0 and this ASM 50. Uh, I noticed there's a big scuff mark along here. Can you see it? Right. So that's kind of annoyed me. So I'm thinking, if you look at the back here, you can see quite a few crease marks. Can you see the, the crease marks there? Mm -hmm. I think I might be able to put this through for pressing and re-slab it. Potential, potential for a grade bump. The good news is there's white pages on this. Crispy white pages. And the year? 1967. I mean, if you look at the bottom of the comic book as well, mm -hmm. it looks a bit tatty and down the down the spine. Yeah, uh, it's got quite a few spine ticks. And at the bottom, there's a lot of uh, what look like, I don't know, they're like a load of lines. Let's have a look. The creases are going, look like they're going up. Da yeah, or well, down. down. Yeah. But um, obviously, there's only a certain limit on how much you can get a grade bump. Um, but the thing is, with, with that big scuff mark there, I don't know if that was already on there. So I'll have to check with the website. Because if it wasn't, it's happened in, in transit, which it shouldn't have done, because it was beautifully packed. So I think it was like this when uh, it was on the auction site. Anyway, guys, I've got my little child back. I've got my amazing Spider-Man 50 back. And this is a keeper. I think I will probably press it and get it re-slapped. 
And don't forget, I'm still doing that giveaway for a thousand subscribers of that Batman 92 CGC 9.9. So thank you very much guys for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for future content. And don't forget, stay safe out there.